staff on the ward made it possible for Jack Baker to spend his dying days with his beloved pet dog Perry after a massive stroke. It was just him and his dog. That's all it were, yeah. I never mean... had children, never married. No. This particular day we'd noticed that his curtains were closed for quite a long time. So we'd gone, tried knocking on his door, his window. So we'd contacted emergency services and when they got into him, they'd phoned ambulance, they said he'd had a, quite a big stroke. Because at length of time he'd been on floor, he ended up developing pneumonia as well. Um, they tried quite a lot of different things in hospital. Unfortunately, they just said that they had to remove all medical intervention because there was just nothing they could do to save him. Obviously, Jack were quite distressed in hospital because they were obviously worrying about his dog, just kept saying Perry. So we contacted um, the ward and asked if it would be possible to bring his dog. They said we could carry him through the hospital, but once he got to Jack's room, because he was in an isolation room, he were allowed to be sit, on bed with sit him, on his bed, yeah. sit on his knee, he were allowed on the floor. It was a bit bittersweet, to be fair, because it they'd was. just told him that he was dying. To have that much sadness, then to see his dog, you know, he, he got to see him, and it, I think they both knew it was their way of saying goodbye, weren't they? It, Having Perry there meant everything to Jack. Yeah, he was his world, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Ward 17. The cardiology unit was nominated by a patient who suddenly collapsed at home and eventually had to have a pacemaker fitted. They said everyone from consultants to cleaners were kind, professional and simply couldn't do enough for them during their stay. Coronary care caters for acutely ill patients, so um, as well as delivering basic nursing care, we also have to deliver a lot of extended specialist nursing roles. Um, patients come to us with uh, an acute illness, they have an awful lot of uh, intervention, both from a nursing and medical point of view. On Ward 17, we quite often get patients that are stepped down from coronary care, so once they're somewhat better than when they first came in, come down onto Ward 17, which is a cardiology general ward, um, so hopefully then they're going to be rehabilitated before they're ready for home. Both on coronary care unit and Ward 17, we've got a fantastic group of people and they're all working uh, with the same aim in mind and that's to deliver really, really quality care to patients and to relatives. Over the last uh, few years we've made a lot of developments in cardiology and we've got a good team of medical staff that uh, now do like quite a lot of procedures that previously they would have had to go to Sheffield for. So. You know, we have come a long way in the last few years. It's, it is quite stressful at times. We both enjoy our, enjoy our jobs. Uh, we've both been in nursing for an awful lot of years. To have somebody admitted who is so sick and to assist them to recover, it's very, very rewarding. The casualty team. Staff in the emergency department treat critically ill patients 24 seven. Some of the team enjoyed their 15 minutes of fame early this year thanks to their appearance in a Fly on the Wall Channel 5 TV documentary. So uh, the life of the emergency department is um, pretty hectic, um, pretty stressful. Um, it involves everybody working together. The team is extremely good at working together. I don't think you, you could work in an emergency department unless you were uh, a reasonably outgoing person. Working in the emergency department can be pretty challenging. We see children, we see adults. We come across some uncomfortable situations uh, due to the nature of the work that we do. But the, the stress of the job um, is something that you just have to cope with. And sometimes you do get upset and sometimes you have very happy moments. And um, it's about working through those individually and together as a team. So I think people of Barnsley can be proud of their emergency department. We're probably in the top 10 of district general emergency departments in the country. Personally, my job is exceptionally re rewarding. I've been in Barnsley for 15 years in the emergency department and um, I've never wanted to leave. I've always um, wanted to improve the department and we're you know, exceptionally thrilled to be nominated to the, one of the proud of Barnsley awards.